What's up guys, voiceover Bailey here today with a relaxing tutorial featuring some smooth jams, satisfying close-ups, like seriously, getting up in these shadows business, and what I hope is a relaxing voiceover. If not, please don't turn off the video. Maybe mute it instead. Put on your own music and imagine, I don't know, Morgan Freeman is narrating. Sorry I couldn't get Morgan for this video. Maybe next time. Let's get started. First, I'm taking my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre, and I have to be honest, I don't know whether I love or hate this close-up, but there it is. Anywho, I'm using an Esam W25 to apply that all over my lid, inner corner to outer corner, and all the way up to underneath my brow as well as my lower lash line. And even though I'm just showing it here on one eye, you're gonna wanna do this to both eyes as well, because you want your eyeshadow to look the same on both eyes, unless you don't, and then that's cool, cause it's just makeup. Moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm using Tati's Textured Neutrals palette. I mean, look at those glitters. You go, glitters. And even though the glitters are the star of the show here, I'm actually starting with a matte shade, the matte Soothe shade to be specific, and I'm using that on a rounded, fluffy Luxie Beauty brush. I honestly don't know what number this is because I've had it for so long that it rubbed off, but you know, find something similar and it'll work for you. Now, because of the major Bob Ross vibes this voiceover is really putting out, I feel obligated to tell you that these are happy little strokes I'm doing throughout my crease, blending that shadow down on the outer half of my eyelid as well as up just below my brow bone. Then I'm taking the small pointed eyeshadow brush from Profusion and applying the same shade to my lower lash line. Don't neglect your lower lash line, folks. You are, however, more than welcome to ignore the atrocious sunglass tan line I have, unless you're my mom or my dermatologist, in which case, I swear I put on sunscreen. But no, I didn't reapply, and yes, you were right, can we stop talking about it already? Thank you so much. On to the next shadow, we're using another matte. This is the matte memory. Yes, we are getting to the glitters, but please hold your horses. There are steps that we need to take before that. Anywho. This is Profusion's small, firm eyeshadow brush, and I'm using that to first build the color in my outer corner, and then slowly drag it to create something that kind of looks like a wing. Now this part will take some blending because it is essentially a smoked out wing. Don't panic, don't make that face. Oh my God, it's gonna work out. Just trust in the process. Once you blend it all out, what you're ultimately going to have is this really blown out blended wing. And if you need some help blending everything out, go back in with your original brush just to help blend those two shades together. Hopefully you enjoyed that little musical interlude. I felt like I'd been talking a lot. You hadn't gotten to enjoy the music and I was honestly just tired of talking. Next, I'm highlighting my inner corner, working that shimmer in a little bit more slowly, shadow by shadow. This is the metallic aura shade from the palette, and I'm using the Profusion Flat Shader Eyeshadow Brush to pat that, you know, wherever you see me patting it. Continuing to ramp up our shimmer use, I'm going into Metallic Ritual, and I am patting that using the same brush I used before at the very beginning of this tutorial, and I'm using it to basically blend the black in my outer corner into the brown throughout my crease and lid. Now it's finally time for the showstopper. I'm going in with Glitter Ritual and I'm using the same flat shader from Profusion that I used earlier to pat that starting in the center of my lid and really working it out up to even my crease. But let's be real, there's no rules with glitter. Just put this wherever you want to, girl. Get after it. But I will say, if you want to make sure that you can really pack the glitter on, I actually wet my brush with a facial setting spray. Whatever spray you got going on, or even water, will do. You do you. Finally, moving on to liner. I'm reaching for a matte black liner. This is from Collab, and it looks painful. It needs to be sharpened. I now realize that in hindsight. Ow, 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 ow. Then on to mascara, this is L'Oreal's Voluminous Lash Paradise, and because mascara is the most boring part of any beauty routine, I'm just gonna skip to the good part. That's it, that's the good part, we can move on now. 
Up next is foundation and oop, that's kind of nasty. Let's just take it. Oh, that's still pretty gross. Okay, let's just move on to ooh, this wonderful close up. So satisfying. And abracadabra. Just kidding. I know you guys want that slow mo goodness, so here we go. Okay, that's enough. Let's move on to concealer. This is my Beauty Bakery Insta Bake 3 in 1 concealer, and I'm using that in my under eye area to not only conceal, but also help clean up that wing shape on the underside of my eye, as well as conceal my chin where I'm having some breakouts, and my forehead, also Breakout City. Now let's move on to the brows. This is my Anastasia Dip Brow Gel in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm being lazy, I'm not using an angled liner brush, I'm not using a pencil to fill my brows in beforehand. I am just running this through my brows because I'm lazy. Also, if you want to ensure complete coverage as well as add a little volume, this is the equivalent of backcombing your brows. Just run that wand through your brows backwards and then maybe even let them set before combing them the right direction. Now for the rest of my face, I'm using the Urban Decay 3 Sum Palette in Streak, and let's just take a moment real quick to appreciate how beautiful this packaging is close up. Right? I know. Okay, now let's move on to bronzer. I'm using the bronze shade in this palette, which looks like a sandy beach. Man, I wish I were at a beach right now. But to blend the sand or uh, bronzer on my face, I'm using a Delium Tools All-Purpose Blender and placing that in the contours of my cheeks pretty broadly, blending it out throughout my temples, along my hairline, and along my jawline for more of a bronze slash contoured look. Then using the blush, which is admittedly less attractive in the pan, but really beautiful on the cheeks, using that same brush as before, and I'm patting that, starting on the apples, working it back along my cheekbones, and then also adding some on my nose to make it look like that tan line is on purpose. Last for the face, it is time for some magnificent highlight. This is once again from that trio, and I'm using a Real Techniques fan brush to apply that right to the tops of my cheekbones. And last for the lips, I'm using Max Matte Lipstick in the shade Yash, and it's not going to look matte because I've placed it over a moisturizer. Typically, I prep my lips with something like a Laneige Sleep Mask, which I'd use more than when I'm just sleeping, but that is what's giving this matte lipstick a balmy, dewy finish. And that's it for the look. Just tossle your hair, cause I'm sure that does something. Then play with the widow's fuzz that you have on your head, contemplate shaving it off, but remember the last time you did that, it was a disaster. Don't do that again. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, both the look and the format. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments, and please share this with anyone else you think would enjoy it, find it funny, or who might be applying their glitter irresponsibly. Friends don't let friends use glitter irresponsibly. PSA over. Goodbye, guys.